welcome to a brand new program called the body and the mind As far as this program is concerned, we are going to eye shadow yoga. This is a program not only for mariners, but it's also for those people who love their life and career. We are honored to have with us Mr. Sanjeev Krishnan, who is also the director of Oriental Yoga Sanctuary, and he's the patron and the founder of Rhythm of Life. We're going to ask him about yoga and uh, you know all sorts of. Um, our doubts in concern with yoga because in our lives we run around for money business and what not and we never ever care for our body we are busy with so many other things early in the morning you work out you especially for us we people we live in dubai the traffic the business you eat at the wrong time you eat at the right time sometimes you go back no time for your family it's a mess of course we have to it's high time we think about our life and care for our life and we should really love our life and career This is Sanjeev Krishnan. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Sujit. Yeah. Uh, during our casual discussion, the moment I walked into your um, office here, uh, you know, people, you know, there's a confusion in the industry or around the world. What is yoga? There are several definitions and uh, the mythological or the, uh, the 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 way they describe things to people, especially for the marine industry, our industry, uh, where our channel is focused. it's ship owners ship distribu um, ship uh, builders converters marine oil and gas they're all busy people and uh, you know with the uh, amount of stress they have and uh, especially in europe or australia or india okay fine but the other parts they'd like to know what is yoga yeah it's a very good um, good question and <laughs> yoga is actually today a universal name mm-hmm. and many perceive it in different perspective you know yoga basically if you ask me i would like to say yoga is a wonderful knowledge okay that helps every human being in this world to enjoy every moment of their life mhm in other words i would like to say yoga is a manual of a human personality we all go to school as a child we send our child also now to schools we teach them all the knowledge that they need to gain in life whether it is to develop a business okay or a job or an engineer or a doctor general knowledge they learn everything about it but uh, you see today there are millions of people with millions of rupees yes but they can't sleep properly can't eat properly no values no relationships and finally they land up their life as a wreck they they, they are like a machine machine what is happening is the real essence of knowledge has not been given to a child mm-hmm. in the process of giving the child the education or the job or anything for that matter we only help them to gain financial health uh-huh. but financial health is not everything okay first of all we need to know how to maintain our physical and mental health okay physical and mental health is not taught mm-hmm. anywhere though we have some moral science and some activity as yoga they term in schools just as another exercise like a cricket or a football or any other game mm-hmm. they treat yoga as only as an activity aha uh-huh. the real depth in the meaning of yoga is to help a person understand how to maintain his physical and mental health 
when a person is able to maintain his physical and mental health mm-hmm. then he can use his financial health in a much better way mm-hmm. but just financial health without a physical and mental health does not serve the purpose okay. so the person does not enjoy his life mm-hmm. so yoga basically is a knowledge that we need to imbibe to every human being in this world to learn how to take care of the day to day life in other words how to manage their lives so that they can enjoy every moment of their life this is what is the real in depth essence of yoga coming to the aspect it would be good for a person to understand a human personality oh uh-huh. because even if you want to operate your camera or a mobile you need to know how to use it properly the correct way correct way for example today we buy a mobile and there's always an instructor's manual attached to it in all languages if you see mm-hmm. this sent but how many of us really go through it none of us we, we know to operate the normal to call a person or just for a message or a camera or little little these things nowadays yes internet and all those things you use but in spite of that there are plenty of other applications yeah likewise human being has plenty of potential it has immense potential mm-hmm. but we hardly know the capacity right and yoga is one knowledge that helps a person to understand every aspect of his personality mm-hmm. wherein he can be a master of his life today we are mostly slaves not masters right right we are a slave to some habit or this or that or something to drink or smoke mm-hmm. or anything for that might can be chocolates it can be anything so what is happening is you are basically just getting conditioned to so many things mm-hmm. because we ultimately do not know what is the real aspects of the personality mm-hmm. so to give a little in depth knowledge about yoga i would like to always say we need to understand the five dimensions of a human personality or oh, dimensions of the human personality yeah. we see it as only one entity mm-hmm. a person is there he is laughing he is eating he is sleeping he is drinking that's it is that's it but what is the intricate aspect that makes him do all these activities is what we need to understand okay for that in yoga we have this called the five dimensions we mm-hmm. call it as the pancha koshas pancha koshas yeah The first aspect of a human personality is the body sheath or food sheath we call it. Okay. See today a person a body for a human being if you see if it is not having the breath breath yeah okay when the breathing is not there how long can you keep the body if you are finished in one day two day you have to dispose it. But we see the physical body we don't see the other aspects of it. Oh uh-huh. ho. to devi see only a body and That's total it. focus today in this world is only for the body right beauty health facilities all these things is aimed for the body okay mainly mm-hmm. body with the breath is life mm. right body with the breath is life but body with the breath alone is a living vegetable because there is no mind attached to it Okay. there are so many people living in the world but they can't move they are unconscious there are so many problems the health wise they can't do any paralysis paralysis so body is one we call it as the food sheath mm-hmm. the air sheath okay the breath is the pranayama okay. the breath, breath awareness of air sheath we call it mm-hmm. third is the mind the mind what is this mind mind is basically a sense of perception you know for example a child a small child it mind always operates with two things one is it has always desires it's a sense of perception so it's thrust to do things is by desire curious yeah it wants to think achieve things second is reflection and recollection is other aspects of the characteristics of the mind mm-hmm. so we are going to the intricate aspects of the mind to understand how we can use it so for a child for example the child wants to touch a flame it looks very beautiful bright it wants to touch the flame it goes and touches the flame it has understood it has become dangerous it has already hurt next time it will not touch the flame now the sense of perception of the child according to its mind it's a got a hurt feeling 
So he doesn't want to do touch it again. Right. Now as the child progresses or grows, mm -hmm. you would have noticed the child now starts using the flame for its benefit. Right. So along with the sense of perception, there is an evolution happening in the human mind that's called the understanding sheath or intellectual blend of mind. We mm -hmm. call it as the Vijnanamaya Kosha. Okay. Today we are all a Patra. Patra means an entity mm -hmm. wherein we have gained so much of knowledge according to our sense of perceptions. Mm -hmm. As a child, my parentage has given me so much of knowledge. My schooling has given me so much of knowledge. My teachers have given me so much of knowledge. My sufferings of pain or happiness that I have undergone has given me so much of knowledge. And today, all of us have a beautiful software already set in. And today I look to the world according to my understanding. Okay. This is where we have all the problems today. One person says what I say is right, you say it is wrong. There we have a clash. Friction. And when I can't accept a person or a situation or a circumstances, automatically your sense of perception starts showing in emotions, it gets disturbed. So whenever you are not able to accept a situation or a person, mm -hmm. this agitations, we call it as different forms of emotions, mm -hmm. it starts showing in anger, hatred, happiness, sorrow, frustration. Immediately it shows in your breath as breathing difficulty, oh. fast breath and sometimes you can have palpitations and your body starts vibrating. So basically your understanding is what triggers the emotions what triggers your mind mm -hmm. and what triggers or manifests in the body as uneasiness. You feel uh, so sick and... <laughs> yeah. Today basically if you see the world is suffering not because of famine or war or anything. Basically we are all suffering because of psychosomatic diseases. That's why if you really see it's a very pathetic state. We don't take care of our health. And another important aspect is we do not know the higher aspects of a personality. Oh, okay. Even in the medical science, medical science is very essential today because we are all not taking care of our health, so we land up always in crisis. Whenever you land up in crisis, there should be a section of medical science uh -huh. that can treat you for emergencies. So this is why hospitals are increasing more and more, because it is a crisis management basically. People go there for certain relief. Certain relief. That's, but it's very sorry to see that for diabetic, for example, you start with small doses of insulin tablets, finally you land up with insulin. Permanently? Permanently. If you start with blood pressure for example, you start with slow, slow, slow tablets and again you continue the tablets. If you see for arthritis or depressions, there is no actually a medicine to cure it. 
they can only maintain stabilize it stabilize it they can kill your pain but to get out of it it's very difficult even right. the medical science even all the colleges i don't think they give in depth knowledge about breath or how the mind operates or how the understanding has an impact that's why we say uneasiness of the mind <laughs> whenever i'm not easy at a given situation or a circumstance or a person immediately i show it as disturbances okay and these disturbances already trigger in the body as an easiness of the body we call it i am not in ease i am in dis ease diseases are there oh, oh, oh. dis ease disease <laughs> in a not in ease disease is manifest so this is what is basically happening okay and another aspect of a human personality if you see all human beings our body structures may be different correct height weight color everything may be different our breathing patterns may be different our sense of perceptions on certain things mm-hmm. may be different our understanding on a subject may be different but we have all one common goal in life that's why you and i are here today what because the common goal that we are all looking for in this world is what peace and happiness of course of course today we have so many people coming down to dubai you can see almost 35000 40000 people come every day but ultimate aim is what either they come for job or for seeing their parents or seeing their children or business whatever it is but what is ultimate aim aim is peace and happiness at the end of the day so happiness and peace is what that is what is called godliness oh, oh, oh. today we pray to god to give us all the help support love compassion everything and we pray for the peace and happiness mm-hmm. but god in fact has given his divine beautiful qualities like a chip in all of us that's where whenever you say a lie or you say an untruth mm-hmm. i am the first person to know it's an untruth okay whenever i am going to hurt a person who knows i am going to hurt it's me again so whenever i am responsible for my health let us say i am drinking all the time or i smoke or i get into any other activity who is the person who knows it's not right it's me again and whenever you continue it you are actually creating more weakness and a guilt feeling within us each one of us mm-hmm. we create a guilt feeling this guilt feeling feel a feeling transcends into your understanding into your emotions mm-hmm. into your breath and finally into the body as diseases whereas you your true nature is what your true nature is love compassion responsibility and this gives you power strength fearlessness courage humility perseverance everything when yoga is basically an integration of yes. the mm-hmm. entire dimensions of a human personality mm-hmm. so thereby he is a master to manage himself in day to day life both health wise and mind wise everything it covers everything so understanding this for example food sheets let us say the body mm-hmm. how can we take care of our body by the right concepts of food we are all operating with energies you know we call it in hatha yoga is the traditional authentic yoga mm-hmm. from which every other yoga has come all has come only from the basic hatha yoga hatha yoga is a very ancient knowledge hatha means ha and tha ha is we call it as the left nostril is ha the, the left and tha is the right is the tha ha is the pranic energy and this is the mental energy the left one left is pranic okay this is the right is the mental energy oh we call it in hatha means ha is the moon and tha is the sun in modern science you can say this is matter this is energy mm-hmm. we call it as yin and yang in chinese we call it in ancient knowledge we call it as prakriti and shiva in yoga it is life and thoughts the consciousness but um, uh, let me just interfere in between where did it derive from where, which country did it come from or how, how is this all about uh, is it did it erupt from india or actually if you see um, 
thousands of years back we have had a wonderful culture mm -hmm. and this knowledge has been there for thousands of years back earlier itself in india it was there india if you see was a country that was abundant with every other things like your agriculture was abundant and we always had time that's what i feel always had time to look into other higher aspects of human personality family as well everything if you see for example today if when you have a child for example you always think about good things for your family for your children so whenever you have got some good ideas that comes into you will you not teach it to your child of course of course will you not teach it to your student mm -hmm. same way so many persons who have given contributed the different experiences of their day to day life which has been finally formulated by great scholars and saints mm -hmm. and that is how this knowledge has come this is not a particular order for it oh it's just uh... it has come from various uh, from various people at different times you know now for example today also you also can create create so many things mm -hmm. that's what we say it's called shrutis but we'll be deviating from the topic if you are going into this yes, you know yes, no. so we can take it as a subject if you want it's a very beautiful subject because the entire knowledge is is existent in the world as vibrations mm -hmm. basically even today a scientist is looking for something that he wants to discover what does he do at every given point of time he works on it he thinks on it he sleeps on it he eats on it he's always his mind on a particular thing your brain is having 1000 kilovolt of current how much 1000 kilovolt you can imagine the power of the brain almost 2 to 13 billion neurons each neuron is equivalent to one pentium chip of a computer so your brain is highly powerful now let us say we have 3 meters in diameter we call it as the bioplastic body today it's very common because pranic and reiki and all these things are healing techniques are there this bioplastic body is a aura that is there in every human being mm -hmm. if you see for example you go to a um, function let us say the seats are all empty mm -hmm. what do we initially do we go and see which is the best seat and sit in the middle actually somewhere because we automatically unknowingly we have a space <laughs> sometimes you're walking on the road and you don't look back but you feel someone is coming at the behind back. you <laughs> because your bioplastic body touches is 3 meters in diameter mm -hmm. so naturally you get the feeling when in time you may be telling you know uh i feel feverish mm -hmm. fever has not entered the physical body but you have the feeling coming in likewise we have a bioplastic body what i'm telling is whenever a scientist or any person for that matter they think on a particular subject automatically they are sending out a different types of vibrations in the atmosphere mm -hmm. today what i am talking to you what we are discussing is all recorded in the world of nature isn't it likewise whatever we say is already recorded mm -hmm. whatever has been said is already existent okay. now similar type of thought vibrations whatever you has there in this world of vibrations and whenever you are looking for such thoughts mm -hmm. you attune to those vibrations similar to what you are thinking and at a certain point of time it transcends through your sense organs you get it through your mouth poetry comes like that mm -hmm. it's not comes all the time so that different at higher level of consciousness people have been thinking about certain things and this is transcended and they have written in various verses form mm -hmm. we call it as the shrutis oh, oh, oh. it's a it's a beautiful knowledge to understand we can take it as a subject when we discuss further but coming to yoga again so this five dimensions of a human personality is what is basically yoga is all about and it's an integration of this entire essence mm -hmm. coming to how yoga can help day to day life in management if you see today i would like to ask you a question sri jeta go ahead please what is uh, what do you think is freedom generally what do we all think is freedom today all are saying we want to have freedom freedom what is this freedom could be anything freedom to talk freedom to <laughs> yeah freedom to express everything yeah. even freedom to do things yes sometimes we tell children to, we hear children telling pen come on don't disturb me let me have my freedom uh, you know uh, when we were talking about freedom i had an experience i was just uh, taking my daughter for the dubai shopping festival mm. and i said you'll get lost in the crowd so let me hold your hand so she says no don't 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 catch my hand i want to go free 
<laughs> you know here yeah. so that's what it is everyone want to have that freedom you know see coming to freedom if you think that is freedom that's where we have misunderstood certain concepts oh, oh, oh. the real essence of freedom is for example out of freedom i want to smoke it's your will can you say i hey, you should not smoke no 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 if i want to drink i can drink it's my freedom or if i want to eat a chocolate it's my freedom it's your freedom out of sheer love i want to start loving a person i get into love that's also it's my freedom now after a month after two months let us say you are smoking every day can you stop your smoking immediately very difficult very difficult can you stop your drinking immediately tough very very difficult not that easy but yes there are people who can exceptions are always there yeah. but generally people lose their freedom they think they started with freedom they lost their freedom and freedom lost to what a small cigarette freedom lost to a drink or a chocolate or you can't even sleep when your dear one has not called you're stuck so in fact we think it is freedom we have lost the freedom oh oh in fact in fact we have lost the freedom Then what is this freedom freedom is basically for example you have a daughter or a son for example mm-hmm. the son studies beautifully understands what you say and manages his studies in school at home and even in the house he takes and keeps everything beautifully now should you manage him in any way he is already doing things beautifully then you don't have to go and keep come on you do this you do that you don't have to say now let us say he does not do it he does not study exam is coming and he is not yet finished his uh, revision you have to sit on his head now when you sit on his head or when you try to manage him will he like it no 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 one likes to be managed by others but if the child does not want to be managed what the child should do learn to manage himself herself or himself when the child manages what do the child what does the child get freedom. freedom the child gets the freedom today if you see driving on the road if i manage myself beautifully on the road should the police manage me no 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 not required department may not manage me if a husband manages himself in his life <laughs> okay wife may not manage him where are you going what is this whose call is that she is not checked if you are managing yourself beautifully she will be not manage you and what do you get you get your free freedom vice versa wife manages herself beautifully then should you you, in, you need not interfere and there is a sense of understanding that's what develop this is management mm-hmm. an employer or employee an employer manages himself beautifully does beautifully things accordingly what he has to do employees need not try to manage him. correct vice versa so whenever we learn to understand the essence of management what do you get freedom 